Hello fellow designers, welcome to Java Sumro Productions. Today, we will explore the amazing power of conditional text in Adobe InDesign to create a trilingual brochure in English, Sindhi and Urdu. Get ready to streamline your workflow and impress your clients with seamless language switching. Setting up the frame. I have opened this InDesign document that I used in my previous brochure design tutorial. If you are interested in learning brochure design process in Adobe InDesign from scratch, then watch that tutorial on my channel. Tutorial link is in the card on top of this video and below in the description. So these are the texts that are currently present in document in English language. I will be replacing them with different languages without the need of making their copies. This is the translated text of English version, Sindhi and Urdu versions. Now, open conditional text. Go to window, type in tables, and choose conditional text. This opens conditional text panel. In this panel, click the plus button to create a new condition. Name this condition English. Now create another condition and name it Sindhi. Create one last condition and name it Urdu. Now. Select the English version of these text frames, then click the corresponding English condition in the panel. A blue line will appear below the text indicating the applied condition. Now, I'm going to copy and paste the Sindhi version of these paragraphs from client's file into InDesign document. I had already created Sindhi paragraph styles for it. If you are interested to learn how to create paragraph styles, then I've added the tutorial link in card on top of this video and below in the description. Let's click on the title and select Sindhi product name paragraph style. I'm going to apply these paragraph styles to second and third paragraphs as well. These are Sindhi fonts. If you want to translate it into any other language, for example, Hindi, Spanish and German, etc. First you need to install that language in your PC. Let's say you want to translate it into Arabic language. You can translate this English version into Arabic using Google Translate. Then, after I paste this Arabic text over here, you can see all fonts are messed up. Then, all you need to do is open the paragraph panel. Go to type and then choose paragraph. Shortcut key is Ctrl Alt T. Then make sure that Adobe World Ready Single Line Composer is turned on. Then use Adobe Arabic font for this text. That's it. Anyways, now you need to select all these Sindhi paragraphs, then assign Sindhi condition to the text. Alright, now see, as I turn Sindhi condition on and off, then only Sindhi text is appearing and disappearing. Now, let's turn off Sindhi condition and turn on English condition. Then see, English text is appearing and disappearing. This is the magic of using conditional text in Adobe InDesign. Now, I'm going to turn off Sindhi conditional text and then select none. Now, I'm going to copy the Urdu version of this text and paste it inside these text frames. I'm going to apply Urdu product name paragraph styles to titles and Urdu product description paragraph style to the description. Then, I'm going to select all the Urdu text, then assign Urdu condition to the text. Now, I'm going to turn on and off the Urdu condition. I'm going to turn on and off English and Sindhi conditions as well. See, you can switch them anytime you want. Testing and toggling languages. It's time to test these conditions. Let's turn off all conditional text by clicking on the eye icon. Let's test each of these conditional tags in the panel. Click the eye icon next to each condition in the panel. This previews the specific language version in your document. To edit a specific language version, simply hide all other conditions while you work on the tag. If you turn on the visibility of all the conditional tags, the tags will mess up. And trust me, you would never like to see that happening. So, always one condition at a time. See how English version shows up as I turn on English conditional text. How Sindhi version shows up as I turn on Sindhi conditional text. 
how Urdu version shows up as I turn on Urdu conditional text. So, if you ever need to print this multilingual document, you only need to toggle between conditional texts. There is no need of making multiple documents for each language. You can edit multiple languages in a single document with conditional text. Conclusion By mastering conditional text, you have conquered the multilingual design challenge. Now, you can confidently create brochures, reports, or any document that shines in various tongues. Keep exploring in design's magic. And don't hesitate to share your multilingual masterpieces with the world. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will reply you as soon as possible. You can email me at jabasumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Jabasumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Jabasumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now, I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.